Keith, what's wrong? Didn't you enjoy yourself at school today? Are you kidding me? Today was the weirdest day ever. Everybody was white. I had to watch people go without so many things. The building was hot, it was hot outside, and I have a hot house to go home to. And plus, I had to listen to the lamest music in class today. That was the worst 15 minutes of my life. I thought you would have liked living in a world where everyone was white. Look, God, would you just tell me what you're trying to get me to learn? Seriously, this is too much to deal with right now. I can't keep going on like this. Keith, look out! Are you okay, Keith? Yeah, I think so. Hey, kid, watch where you're going. Lady, didn't you see me walking? Don't oh, no. mind yourself, Keith. What's going on here? Officer, I was just walking and... I saw the whole thing, son. Ma'am, I'm going to have to give you a citation. For what? I told you to halt, and yet you continued to drive. Ma'am, I'm in a hurry. I must get home. I I'm must... sorry. Here you are. Well, I've never. All right, young man. Get along now. Yes, ma'am. <sighs> I could ask, but I think I'll just let you tell me. Well, the traffic lights that were there yesterday are not there anymore because in a world with black people, Garrett A. Morgan invented the traffic light in 1923. But in a world without black people, they are directed by police officers. <sighs> All right, God. I am 100% serious when I say that I cannot go on like this. I'm tired of all of this. Can you make things go back to the way they were? Come with me. Let me show you something. Wow. Where are we? We're on the top of the world, Keith. Why am I here, though? I want you to look down there, Keith. Go ahead and look down there. Look at the world. I'm looking. There are so many beautiful things down there. The trees, the animals, the waterfalls, the forests. And I made all of them. All of them? All of them. I also made the people, too. I made the people in many different forms. Tall people, short people, big people, small people, even black and white people. Mm. I made them of any different color the rainbow. Black people, white people, brown, yellow, and red people. And I love them all equally. When I see my children, I don't see a color. I don't see any nationality, background, gender, or religion, or anything like that. When I look at them, I see my children whom I love. If you don't see color, then why you make people different colors? My intention was to create a rainbow among my children. Then why aren't there green folks or blue people? <laughs> well, well, I wasn't thinking of a rainbow like that. But think about it like this. What if everything in the world was red? What if the sky was red, the grass, the trees, the clouds, the ground, everything? What if they were all red? That wouldn't be right. Red. Red wouldn't be as special if everything were red. That's right. Now, Keith, understand that the people who invented the things that you didn't see today, they didn't invent those things because they were black. They did it because those inventions were necessary. And they weren't the only ones. Black Americans invented many other things like the clothes dryer, the baby buggy, the mop, the lawnmower, the lantern, and many, many other things. So then why aren't we learning about these folks in school? Like, how come black people don't get credit for stuff? Keith, there are so many answers to that that you wouldn't be able to understand all of them. One thing that I would tell you is that wishing for a world in which everyone were the same color, the same creed, nationality, won't solve your problem. No one is going to take you seriously until you take yourself seriously. No white person will respect you as a black person if you yourself don't respect yourself as well. That ain't going to help me in school, though. Teachers don't care about us. Don't even pay us any attention or nothing. Schools all over are debating what to teach their students. If you want to learn more about black history, you've got to make your voice heard. It ain't that easy, though. No, it's not. I'm not saying it is. But the more demand you make for a change, the more chances of that change coming. You understand what I'm saying? 
Yeah. I kind of get it. I think so. Good. Now hurry up and wake up. Wait, this is all a dream? <laughs> yes, this was all a dream. Do you really think I would alter the world so that only white people could be the only ones living? <laughs> yeah, right. Well, do you think you could alter time so I could work on my report doing social studies tomorrow? I ain't got to alter time, man. It's 4.30 in the morning. If you wake up, you can get it started and done with, and in two and a half hours, you'll be eating breakfast. I can't write an entire report in two and a half hours. I don't even know what I'm going to write about. And what do you mean you don't know what to write about? I just showed you how... How many hours did we just spend together and I just showed you what the world would be like if there weren't any black people? You don't know what to write about? About what the world would be about if there weren't no black people and there weren't any of their inventions? You can't pick one of those inventions and one of those people? I could have been in someone else's dreams. You done wasted all this time. All right, all right. I'll get started. <sighs> That's better. Good. Good. And do me a favor, man. Stop saying what the all the time. All daggone day I was with you kept saying what the. What? What the? What the? What the? Man, you're almost as bad as that kid down there who keeps saying crud all the time. Whoa, I'm not that. Wake up! Huh? Hey. My clock. My clock is back. And I'm black. I'm black again. Oh, I got to get started on this report. Yes. What? Do my eyes deceive me? Is this actually Keith in class before anyone else? Oh. And is that really his report in his hands? Is well, it? Well, yeah. I thought you were done with school and you weren't going to put up with it anymore. Please. You know I say crazy stuff all the time. I don't really mean it, man. Yeah, but I've never known you to go back on what you said. Why you come back to school? I don't know. I guess I finally realized that I need to have respect for myself and who I am if I expect anyone else to have any type of respect for me. Hmm. Why does that sound so familiar? Oh, right. I said it to you two days ago. Oh, hush your face. Don't get your pantyhose and I'm not. You know what? Good afternoon, class. It looks like everyone is here, including Keith. So today is the day you all present your Black History Reports, and Keith has volunteered to go first. So, Keith, the floor is yours. Well, my report is on a group of African Americans that are often overlooked, the inventors. Black people have made so many things, it's crazy. When I learned about all these great things black inventors gave us, I couldn't just focus on one inventor or just one invention. So I decided to talk about a group of black inventors. The first one is Augustus Jackson, the inventor of ice cream in 1832. He was a chef in the White House and made many recipes and flavors of ice cream. He didn't get a patent for it, but what do we care? We still enjoy it anyway. <laughs> he gave us his ice cream to ice cream vendors in Philadelphia, being the most successful ice cream vendor because of all his flavors. Hey everybody, welcome back and thank you for tuning in. We thank you for listening to today's episode of the Brother B.I.B. Show. We thank you for celebrating Black History Month with us and I ask you to continue to celebrate with us. We've got a lot more in store for you during the next couple of weeks throughout this month. Remember, no matter what nationality you are, no matter what group or race or color or creed or whatever group you belong to, remember this. Never, ever, 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 ever forget to celebrate who you are and what you are. Never forget to celebrate life. Always wake up every day and thank God that he gave you life. So we thank you again for tuning in to today's show. We're going to close it out just like we do every episode. Go ahead, get in front of a mirror. If you don't have a mirror, find a reflection of some sort, get a picture, whatever you can do, and just look at yourself and smile and love yourself. Love yourself. Have some respect for who you are, baby, because if you don't, no one else will. Stop letting people walk over you. Stop letting terrible things happen. Stop letting stuff get to you emotionally. Just take time to love yourself. We thank you for tuning in to today's episode. Today's dramatization was called Blackout. 
title inspired by Marie Pride, written and directed by Benjamin Isaiah Black. Our cast included Miss Marie Pride, Miss Jalisa Brown, Mr. Camden Tolbert, Miss Jessica Blake, Mr. Armand Burgess, Miss Allison Steiger, and Miss Susie Strobel. Our sound designer, recording engineer, editor, and producer is Benjamin Isaiah Black. And I am Brother B.I.B., wishing you all love, joy, peace, and hope, and a happy, wonderful Black History Month. God bless you all, and I love you. I'll see you later. Booyaka, 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 woo!